Hello everyone, this is Captain Gerg, and today I'm bringing you a game between uh, two of the best 2v2 teams around. Actually, I've never seen Paladin and Debugger play together, um, but they are two fine, fine Russian players, <coughs> with Paladin playing as Tech Marine, both as Space Marine, of course, and Debugger playing as Force Commander. And then you very well known DK team of Strands Fan and Spirit Spirit playing not as his normal warlock, but as Farseer. Let's go straight into the game. Let's probably close the overlay, because people hate it when I do that. And off we go! <coughs> so. Uh, yeah, so, Pyranids and Eldar versus Double Space Marines. Opening up, we have, um, Double Tax coming out for the uh, RUW team. Well, DK goes with a Banshee and a Termagant squad. Double Terrancans for Strands fan, rather than going for a Double Pormagon, which is a good idea, because those will get torn to pieces. Um, especially if the tech, tech Marine does insane amounts of damage initially with his just vanilla bolter. It's actually kind of uh, comical. But, uh, and then of course Banshee is usually going to be the best bet um, against any Space Marine, especially in 2v2, because uh, then you don't have to worry about captain power that you would have with Guardians if you went for those. We're seeing a very, very quick... Um, push forward by the blue team, and let's see, the counters w may well be... No, they're not. They're actually working. That's good. Alright, so the uh, counters are going for a up here. Um, see a quick push off by the blue team, um, going to the very center, rather than capping their back points initially. Well, as I say that, there are two scouts that are doing that. So both teams actually with very similar pushes. We have our first um, attack all up in her... I just said that. I apologize uh, very much. Ah, what else we got going? We have another scout coming out for debugger. So we have scout tech scout. Which one? Uh, I like. I like a lot. I don't uh, don't do a lot of two v two, but I really do like the uh, devil um, devil scout build. One because of just uh, versatility. Scouts. Um, uh, what am I trying? To, what's the word I'm looking for? It's here. It's somewhere. Uh, they. Uh, progress well, they um, stack. There we go, stack now. They uh, they scale. There we go. They scale scale very well into tier two, and uh, even useful in tier three. And um, so yeah, it's really scouts are one of those units that um, it's hard to find a, a bad time. For them. There are certainly bad times, but uh, otherwise, um, yeah, it's uh, it's usually a, a very good thing to to have scouts. Also, do more damage. Um, with shotguns, then your attack will swap with you, actually. But, of course, attacks are meant to absorb damage on the lid, so it's all good. You see these guardians absolutely melting under bullet fire, uh, especially with the tech marine attacks. Um, scouts, we have an identical... Actually, we have, well, we have a completely identical build order from both, uh, from the blue team with um, devil scout shotguns, as well as a an un upgraded tactical marine squad. No upgrades for commanders yet. Meanwhile, DK, nothing for the Hive Tyrant. Sometimes we'll see Spear or Shran's fan go for uh, the uh, extended carapace, which is the charging armor. But today we're not. Um, and then Spirit does not have anything out either. Um, sometimes with his Warlock, you'll, well, in this case, you'd always you'd probably um, not see any upgrades because the emulator won't do too much. But, uh, against other more swarming armies, and if he was playing Warlocks, this is completely irrelevant to the current game, but uh, under those circumstances, DK Spirit might be getting um, those uh, those upgrades. And down goes the Hive Tyrant already, overextends, gets meleeed to death by the tax. They pop Kraken Bolts onto the Warrior Brood, that has just come up from Shrens Fan. No clap, so no Devastators out yet, which is um, pretty uh, pretty normal against Tyranids. Um, oh, we do have one short can now, though. What, the, what I want to talk about today, in particular, is a general theme for this cast. Um, I haven't seen it, which, one, is, is more fun for me, and uh, probably will make me look like more of an idiot at some points, but... Like, check out this capping! And someone gets, you know, like, tyranniformed or an orbital goes down. Um, but anyway, um, what I was talking about was, the thing I want to focus on in this video game is how uh, willy-nilly the word counters is talking about. Oh, this Cannon will definitely survive. Scouts can get there in time. Farseer coming under some heavy fire. Does manage to get the decap there. The bees are just about even. There's been no real uh, advantage gained, minus the loss of the Hive Tyrant by Shrans. Um, Shrans Fen. Spirit has not gotten over there yet. 
We do have Armor of Fortune now, which is also nice. We're going to have Guiding Fortune on the Farseer, very much a support-oriented Farseer rather than a, uh, a more active role. Although Fortune, what does it do as an armor? Yeah, crazy health regen too, so we'll be able to get her out of the fight and then, uh, then back in pretty quick. So, Banshees are going on power ass, are going to get some pretty easy now. Normally I would say, oh, these Banshees are being hard countered by, oh god, these things might go down. No, no, they're going to go down. They're fine. Do lose another model loss though, or rather, gain another, whatever, you know what I mean. They lose, uh, lose four models? Yeah, no, three. Three make it out. So, uh, Banshees are quite expensive to read first, so that's kind of annoying. Uh, what else? We've got an Assault Squad out from Debugger. Also pretty standard. Um, really, really heavy tier 1 for Space Marines. Pega does this a lot, um, which probably won't hold up very competitively. But, um, ooh, yay! First year with, uh, first year with Webway Gates. So that's always fun. Another Clash here in the middle. We've got plenty of forces, um, from both, both squads. We have... Do we have a scout? No, that's... Nah, that's or, uh, Sergeant Elder. So, Shurans gets completely forced off. None of his scans are going to do anything. Wow, this is the entire Space Marine force. Especially when we present it as one solid wall. Space Marines are... I mean, they're so freaking ridiculous to try to get a kill on. One. Of course, they are... Ooh, those scouts barely make it out. One member of 14 hit points. But yeah, Space Marines are just so crazy hard to get a kill on. And, I mean, it, they're offset by the fact that it's hard to get full squad kills. Ooh, very nice use of... Nice, I like that. Oh, and uh, we see a salt jump which doesn't quite get to the Banshees, and they're going to kill at least one member, maybe two. Oh, there's a knockdown. Do they have aspect? Of course they do, that's why the knockdown. 48 health left on that tactical from Debugger. Um, his scouts are also getting maimed like crazy um, by, I'm guessing, dual Termagans Termagans with uh, toxic attacks, which I think are a little bit overdone. Um, maybe, I don't know. I mean... I think the uh, health increase is kind of unnecessary, and then cripple and poison both cripples and increases the amount of damage that that unit receives by 40%, I think, um, which is just insane. I mean, the Banshees, if used well, two Termagants can pretty much make the Banshees useless, um, which is really annoying. Once again, completely irrelevant to this game, as there's there's going to be no uh, Tyranid or Zelda. But, anyway. Oh god, what was I talking about? I've gone on like three different tangents already. I'll just talk about the game. Okay, so we see some nice webway usage here. I very much like that. Of course, with Farseer, it's kind of a, kind of a, um, kind of a given that you've been seeing webway days. So in that regard, would like to see at least a, one sergeant out for uh, for one of the one of the blue team members because um, there's really no uh, sniping army. Ooh, we have a Razorback out. For Paladin went tier two quicker than Debugger. Uh, meanwhile, Shrens and Spear also reaching tier two all about the same time. Maybe a little bit quicker for the blue team. We have Rage back out though, so that's nice. And uh, Vehicle E, which apparently there's nothing to, um, to counter that with. Probably C, my guess would be um, Gene Stealers. Never mind, Venom. Alright. So, uh, yeah, really with Tyranids, there's only two things you can do once you get Tier 2. You can either get um, Adrenal Gland, Warrior Broods. Well, technically three things. Alright, first one, Warrior Glands with Adrenal. or <laughs> Warrior Brood with Adrenal Glands, rather. And, um,. And then you can get some Gene Stealers, or if you'd already gone with the Devil Horm Hormagant build, um, then that will syner synergize quite nicely, especially if you have a Hive Tyrant, which is very much a melee oriented commander. Or you can do what Shrine's fan is doing, go with the double uh, Termagant Brood, open up, get the Venom Brood to support, which, <laughs> like I said, fully upgraded Termagants, plus um, the Synapse from a Warrior Brood, that is buttloads of damage that come out from a Tier 1 unit. So that's, uh, that's actually quite scary, even for Space Marines, um, how quite those things will go down. Um, which, and then, okay, so we do have Adrenal Glands for the, uh, the Warriors too. That's probably more in response to the fact that uh, the Razorback is out, as they will now um, counter. Oh, there's, there's that word, which I still haven't explained why I kept on mumbling at the beginning of this cast about countering. But um, they're a decent, they're, they're very good against vehicles, seeing as how Adrenal Glands gives them uh, melee heavy damage, which is uh, less effective against them. Infantry, rather, and uh, certainly more effective against other, uh, other vehicles. We have a plasma gun out. What just blew up? That must have been a bit... Oh, smoke grenade. Oh, wow, we don't see those. Right? <laughs> I had no idea what that was because I've never seen one used. Um, so yeah, smoke grenade from the race back. That's nice. Brightlands platform is out somewhere shooting through. What the hell? Oh, it's. <laughs> oh god, why am I testing this game? I'm not qualified to do this. Brightlands is up here, guys. 
increased the people coming from Mark Target down, that means we do have second armor out. Those banshees might go down because of the ridiculous amounts of damage that you can do with Mark Target. Um, I think Fortune might have actually saved them. That's very possible. We do have the Timp Fist out, the first commander, and so much death I can't even comment on it all. Okay, so, um, DK is, Red Team's getting forced back pretty consistently here about Space Marines, um, and that goes to force the, uh, parse here. Banshee's barely survived, the, everything else has to retreat. Trans fan is moving out again. One thing that I will note is that, uh, the Russians are definitely playing as a team more effectively than, um, than DK, uh, in terms of creating one very unified front against an entire mass retreat from, uh, assault marines and the force commander with the alacrity armor, armed of alacrity, by the way, and power, power fist. Which, by the way, does anyone know what alacrity is? I should really look that up. I feel very stupid when I know that. Um, anyway. Where was I? Good. <laughs> After everyone gets revived and then dies again. So that's great. Uh, spear stones, not for the parse here. That would be really useful with how many times trans fans have to has died because that makes the parse here level up, like, obscenely fast. We do have sergeants now for the attack and range from the booger. No weapon on it, so Khaled has a uh, pleasant nuts. I do like that they're kind of switching up their builds very minusculely, where they have the same core units with different upgrades, for, uh, but they still make sure all their bases are covered with Colin, which apparently is going to be a drop pod because it's you know, tier 3. Boom, and what's going to pop out? Just one. I don't know if that was quite necessary. I don't know if he was going for maybe getting a retreat kill with that, or, uh, or what, but hmm, interesting. Um, so yes, now we have the, uh, yeah, like I said, having, having anything to detect these webway gates minus having to run straight into them like he did that time would be nice. Um, so yeah, no sergeants on the scouts. Oh, never mind, we have one scout sergeant for, uh, the booger. Uh, and that's probably because he's been engaging with Tyranids more often than that. And, uh, yeah, so that. Uh, let's see, a lot of lag in this game. I don't, it doesn't appear to be lagging. Oh, duh, this is replay, I'm stupid, but, um... But yeah, so, anyway, back to countering and whatnot, because now I have a free moment when everything has been pushed off. Um, ooh, wow, Pallet going tier 3, quick. Going for, uh... Might be going for a vent red, actually. I can see that being really useful in this uh, particular matchup. Um, actually, both, uh, both, both the Patriot players go in tier 3 almost, uh, synonymously. And the Parseer does have to retreat, uh, I think she's Retreating does have Zen Spear, which is, yeah, heavy melee, so that's uh, pretty darn good against Googles. Um, anyway, back to countering. Counters are such, I mean, okay, so one thing that, here's an example I always use. You're playing in a 1v1 game, you're playing as Tyranids, and, uh, naturally you get, you know, your natural, ooh, man, that, god, that webway gate is so brutal in terms of the cloaking, the speed that you can get out of scouts, it's obscene.